Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How you doing? I got a great video for you today all about the brand new viral style t-shirt fulfillment app and Shopify integration. Okay, and I know a lot of you have been waiting for viral style to come out with their Shopify app. It's finally out and uh, it looks great. I'm going to walk you through how to get this integrated on any Shopify store and uh, best part is it's totally free. So we're going to be able to go ahead. The only thing that you need to do is have a viral style account. And you can go to that link on your screen right now, vs.justincener.com. So go ahead and pause this. Go to vs.justincener.com and create a viral style account if you don't already have one. Now, if you already have a viral style account, you're already set up in, that, in regards to your account. But if you don't have one, vs.justincener.com. Go ahead and uh, get that ready, and uh, we can start from there. Okay? And uh, if you don't know what viral style is, it's one of the uh, top print-on-demand t-shirt platforms. Okay? And if you don't know what print-on-demand t-shirts are, then uh, you know, you're missing out on really one of the best business opportunities out there, if not the best, in, uh, in my opinion. And uh, just the, you know, the quick 15 second version of it. Basically, you uh, get to sell t-shirts and different forms of apparel and phone cases without ever actually spending a dollar on the inventory. All of the uh, inventory is ready on demand. And that means when you make a sale on your Shopify store, then the t-shirt or the hat or whatever the, the item is, then it gets produced, okay? It gets produced on demand and it's demanded after the order. So cash flow positivity, okay? And that's just one of the many reasons why the t-shirt print on demand business is just so powerful. And uh, Viral Style, like I said, is one of the best and uh, their Shopify app is now out. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it over here. And uh, we'll go here and here's that vs.justincener.com. You're gonna be able to come over here and create uh, your account, okay? You just enter in whatever you want. You don't really have to worry about this viral style unique URL because you're going to be selling on Shopify through the app, but you do need to have a viral style account to get this set up. So I'm just going to log in to mine real quick. All right, so I'm logged into a little test account here, and uh, now what we're going to do is um, go into this, the uh, go to the Shopify app store and actually go ahead and get the viral style app. And uh, because it's so new, it's actually not even inside of the Shopify app store search. Results, all you need to do is go to blog.viralstyle.com and you're gonna get that direct link uh, right over here. Okay, so we just go into this blog post, Shopify post, Viral Style, and we can come right over here, get started today, and click this button. It's gonna go into this, uh, you know, it says right here because this is literally brand new, it just came out today. This app is unpublished, but uh, it will get, you know, officially published soon. Either way, this is fully ready to go. And uh, as you can see, it says it's free, no inventory, no equipment, no monthly fees, totally free to get started. All you need is your viral style account, which we already created over there at vs.justincener.com. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click get, and this is going to now install the viral style fulfillment app onto our Shopify store. I got a little test store here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give it permission to install the app. And uh, because we're already logged in, because we just registered over there at vs.justincener.com, it's going to recognize our account immediately. And you see I already have a couple t-shirts or one t-shirt that I tested in earlier uh, in terms of just building a shirt in here. We're gonna do the same thing. Um, before you get started, though, it's going to say you need to uh, create an account or you basically need to link a payment option on here in order to get started. Okay, so you're going to first come over here to options and you're going to link your information. Okay, and you see um, I've already entered in my information over here. You're going to enter in your payment information because remember, you need to have basically a payment method on file because this is print on demand. So after you already get paid for the order, right, then Viral Style is gonna step in and start producing the order. That's when they need to charge you. But at that point, it's already cash flow positive, right? You've already received the money from your customer, okay? Come over here to plug-in configuration. We're gonna to wanna to check both of these boxes, okay? First of all, auto-fulfill orders, right? I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? We want Viral Style to automatically get the order from Shopify, and that's gonna happen through code, right? We don't need to, like, tell them about it or anything. This app integration does this for us and we want them to start producing it immediately. Okay, so keep, keep that checked. And then down here, I like to check this as well, okay? With paid marketing, paid traffic, you wanna give, as, or you wanna make it so there's as few clicks as possible to get to checkout, okay? And if someone lands on your ad and they click through and you have a t-shirt on one page and a hoodie on another page and they land on the t-shirt page, well, you're making it much harder for them to actually check out with the product that they want. So I always check this box, okay? This means that they're gonna upload all of the styles, right? T like, let's say men's t-shirt, women's, hoodies, hat, all within the same product on your Shopify store. It'll basically be you know one product with different variants, and that's how I like to do it. Okay, so you go ahead and uh, save these store options, and now we can come over to campaigns. Okay, we'll come to campaigns, 
and we're going to click this create new campaign button if you don't have any campaigns when you just get started you're just going to click campaigns and it's going to load into this campaign generation window which basically looks like this okay everything happens inside of the app on viral styles shopify app you're never going to leave this site the only thing that you need to do is before this go to that vs.justincener.com and create your account so you're logged in and it recognizes you Okay. And you can see all the different products here, and these are the ones that a lot of people are super excited about, right? The all-over print, the 3D sublimation. You literally have a design that goes on the entire uh, shirt. Your canvas is the entire shirt. That's really cool. Phone cases, jewelry, mugs, also you know pretty interesting products. And, of course, the whole line of apparel, right? Short sleeve, long sleeve, hoodies, ladies, tank tops, v-necks, um, kids' cuts, everything, okay? So uh, let's just go ahead and build a basic uh, unisex tee. Okay, we'll select this one. There's a couple different options. We'll select this. And uh, you know this is just like every other uh, t-shirt print-on-demand platform, right? You're going to go ahead and design your shirt right here. Okay, they call this the viral style designer. And we're going to come over here. We're going to upload an image, and I'm just going to take a random uh, pig design, just because that's what I randomly have over here. And I'm just going to upload this design file that you would have received from your graphic designer, your t-shirt designer. And I'm simply uploading it on top of the t-shirt. Okay, and you can see the price, the cost over here. You make about nine dollars and uh, 60 cents, I'm sorry, that would be the cost of the shirt, $9.60 if you were to sell 50. And uh, Viral Style doesn't care if you sell one or 100, they're gonna print it no matter what. They're just, uh, you know, they do give bulk discounts, okay? So keep that in mind. This is your price if you, uh, or the cost of the shirt if you sell 50 copies, but they will print one, okay? There's no minimums. Okay, so we got our design here. Now we're gonna go to the next step where we're gonna select the colors of our shirt and add additional products. So let's, uh, we have black, let's also add this green just for fun. And how about we add a, uh, a ladies tee? Okay, we'll add this. And uh, also a hoodie. Okay, we'll add that. We'll just close that out. Now we're going to set our pricing. Okay, I'll do $22.99 for everything. Uh, shirts, right? So $22.99, $22.99. Hoodies, $39.99. I'm good. Uh, I'm going to add black here. And you can see the colors that are selected, they turn into circles. They used to be squares for unselected. Circle is selected. Okay, so you see black is selected. Let's add this green. Okay, black and green. Okay, and now we'll go to the last step where we're going to give the product a title. I'll just call this uh, I Love Pigs. Okay, and we'll put anything in here. You know, limited edition, whatever. You can copy and paste my uh, high converting templates from the boot camp. Uh, you can add tags if you want. These will get sent over into Shopify. And then you just need to agree to the terms of service and you're going to press launch. Okay, now what happens here is a little bit different than some of the other uh, t-shirt print on demand partners. Basically what's happening here is uh, it's going to go from viral style into a queue, okay? So right now it's in a queue and you can see it right here. Um, right now the status is that it's creating the campaign, okay? A campaign sits here. A campaign is not the final product though. A campaign is basically an intermediate step. So we built the campaign. Now the campaign is over here. It's basically creating it over here. And then once it's ready, we're going to have a green button pop over here that imports it into Shopify. So just creating the campaign is not the last step, okay? This is a little bit different and some of the print-on-demand partners that you might have used before, you do need to take it from this campaign level and actually import. Okay, so you create the campaign, then you import the campaign. I'm going to reload this and see if this is ready. Okay, it's still creating the campaign. So uh, we'll give it a couple seconds, and then we'll come back. All right, so we're ready to go here. This took about 30, 35 seconds, and uh, this imported the Shopify button appeared. Okay, and we're going to click this button, and we could send it to a category for one. I'm just going to put it onto the front page. Okay, but you any collection, which are just categories, or any collection you have on Shopify will populate here, okay? And we'll continue and send that over. So it's gonna process the import. And uh, as of right now, there's actually still one more step that you have to do, and I'm not sure if they're gonna keep this in there or not. Um, they, uh, you know, basically there's one more step and I'm gonna show you, we need to publish the product. It's gonna get pushed to Shopify as a hidden product, and obviously that's not gonna do you any good. We need to, publish uh, this product, and I'm going to show you how to do that. We need to go over into the products page, and uh, we'll see if this I Love Pigs product is in here already. Okay, I Love Pigs, you see it says hidden. Okay, we need to remove that. Now again, they might remove that from the app in terms of not making this a requirement, but right now, what you have to do is come over here and click online store for visibility, and then save it, and that's going to change this preview into a view link, and that means it's actually live on your store. Okay, so now it says view. Now we can go over here to our store and actually take a look at all the products, Right, all the different sizes, et cetera, et cetera, all the variants. Everything gets pushed over, all the mock-ups front and back get created automatically by the Viral Style app. And uh, this product is ready to be purchased, ready to be printed on demand. So let's say a customer comes in here and we do some great Facebook ads and you know, I teach you how to do that inside the boot camp. You do the ads, you get uh, purchases, right? Someone, some pig lover buys this shirt. 
Okay, and uh, they place the order and they pay you. Okay, and what happens next? Well, for you, nothing. Okay, your job is done at that point. You made the sale. Now, Viral Style is going to come in. They're going to print the shirt. They're going to package the shirt, right? They're going to stick it into a bubble mailer. They're going to print out a shipping label. They're going to stick the label on the package, drop it in the mail, and on your behalf, they're going to send an email to this customer saying, hey, this item has shipped. Here's the tracking number and here's the tracking link so you can go ahead and track it. And let me tell you, that's going to definitely cut down on your customer service because by far the number one post-sale question is when am I going to get my item? How can I track my item? What's my tracking number? Okay, so Viral Style Fulfillment through Shopify does it all for you totally free. Uh, go ahead and get that account set up first at vs.justincener.com. Remember that you need to go over as of right now into the blog.viralstyle.com because the app is currently private. Okay, you need to come over here to get that direct link. Okay, the app is free. You just need to get the direct link here, but make sure that you have that account created first. Otherwise, it's not going to recognize your login. Okay, so here's how to do it. Try it out. Uh, Viral Style, one of the leading print-on-demand companies, so I think you're going to enjoy this app.